I'm standing here with Kristen de Souza, who sure doesn't look French, uh, but you live in Paris. Yes. Why? Where? Where'd you start? Where were you born? Uh, I was born in Korea. Which one? North or South, South Korea? South Korea. Okay, Republic of South Korea. And you met your husband, who's from where? He was born in Karachi, Pakistan. A Pakistani Jew. Yes. Do they really have those? Uh, apparently, yes. Not anymore. <laughs> he moved. So, where did you meet Carl? In seminary. Which was in what city? In Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. Okay, and that's where you began serving with Jews for Jesus, the two of you together, and how many kids? We have three kids. And, and so you were in Montreal, or were you in Toronto first? First Toronto, and then Montreal nine years. And then because of all that French connection and Carl's and your relationship with Josh and Delphine, you moved over to Paris, and you've yes. been working there how many years? It's been three and a half years. <laughs> so a lot of upheaval, if you will, for the kids. How old are the kids? 18, 17, and 13. Not easy to move when they're teenagers or preteen. So exactly. uh, this is for the Jews for Jesus Australia YouTube channel. And, and people there uh, will be praying for you. Thank you. Will they pray in Hangul? Will they pray in English? We don't know. But when God they hears pray, <laughs> God hears it all. <laughs> what do you want them to pray for you? Oh, our continuing ministry in France among Sephardic uh, people, Sephardic Jewish people. How many are there? How many Jews are uh, in France? In France, about 500,000 to 600,000. Wait a minute, half a million Jews? And in Paris is half of that, about 300,000. 300,000 Jews. So in Australia, we have a total in our entire country of 100,000 Jewish people. And so you've got triple right there in one city. We need to keep praying for you, for Carl, for the whole team there. And do you have weekly or monthly classes, fellowships, things like that? Yes, we have Shabbat meetings. Uh, we have home. Uh, recently we did a Havdalah uh, dinner at our house. Nice. We had art exhibition, outreach, hmm. uh, different ways of reaching out to the Jewish community. You still go out on the streets like we just did? <laughs> of course, the old-fashioned um, way. <laughs> the old-fashioned, it still works. It was good enough for John Wesley and the Apostle Paul, it's good enough for us. Um, so we're gonna pray for the D'Souza family and the kids, how, are, are they um, settled there in Paris now? Or are they still wishing that they were back in Montreal? Oh, they speak French better than us, of course, as kids, they're kids very do. adaptable. The oldest one, she is back in Canada, first year university, studying neuroscience. Second yeah. one is going to move back to Canada as well to start uh, university. So there's going to be a magnet for the D'Souza's going back to Canada. We need to pray for the family. I understand that as a bi and trifurcated uh, father myself. Uh, you speak Korean. Yes. You present Christ in the Passover in Korean. Who knows, we might be able to get you over to Sydney where there are mm. 200 Korean churches mm. alone, 200 in Sydney, mm -hmm. plus the rest of the country. Uh, well, my you be Korean open to that? Uh, language in theology is rusty because I left Korea when I was 10 years old. So it's something that I need to work on, but being back in Korea uh, in November of last year, uh, which I haven't been back to Korea for th uh, 30 years, uh, Truly, but first it, time. Yes, and wow. I was there for one week, and after one week, I felt like my Korean improved. Oh, it will. Oh, <laughs> sure. So it's possible we could, uh, if you told the Korean Christians who are watching this uh, to pray for you, how would that sound in Hangul? 안녕하세요. Uh, uh, 우리 가족, uh, 저 남편하고 저하고 우리 uh, 애들하고. 우리를 기억해 주세요. 기도 많이 해주시고 그리고 어, 우리 어, 예루살렘 예루, 예루살렘 어, 전도하러 가는 어, 가는데 그것도 기도해 주세요. 네 감사합니다. Wow, 감사합니다. <웃음> and 좋은 하루 되세요. Uh, listen, thank you, uh, Kristen, Carl, the three kids. God knows who they are. Thanks for your prayers. Shalom. Bye bye.